Now outside for the evening though, we've got one open. Pine Knob was able to make enough snowfall to be able to open up this evening and wow is it packed. Carpets, two of them are open, three of five of the toes with three of six of the lifts as well. They got 12 of 17, so a majority there of the trails open. If you're heading on out there, just know a lot of people there going into tomorrow though progress obviously made with getting some of that snow made Mount Holly currently blasting snowfall as well, but not open this evening. So we're trying to get there. temps back down on the cooler side are helping us do that, but it's still just a little too warm for the day. 36. We've got the cloud cover for tomorrow. Washington on Wayne counties. We've got right downtown at 36. There's a stray snow shower chance late in the day, not during the daylight hours, but there will be a flurry or two. There's a difference. We're not getting anything on the ground from this, but at least a few flakes in the air reminding us that we're back within the range to make that happen. 35 degrees right there to near 36 in Saline for the afternoon tomorrow. While we go a little further up here, let's go to Sterling Heights at 37. Keeps us right on the money with cloud cover easily hanging around during the day. Lake Orion at 34. Cooler air there, much closer to the average mark, as is Brighton at 34. Right there, we're 23 and 96 cross. But while we have at least a little bit of cooler air sticking around, we're not done with the heat just yet. And even off the water, 36 in Port, Hur in Port Huron, remember, we're not even to two tenths of a percent for ice on the Great Lakes yet. Normally, we would be much further than that, but it's just been too warm. And on the next weather future cast, you can see a stray flurry during the day tomorrow. That's all you've got right here. Otherwise, a stray snow shower late, and I mean late in the evening tomorrow. The next seven, though, puts us right here with 30s going into the weekend. A stray flurry or two again late Saturday with the larger system on Tuesday. Now, for the Lions there on Sunday, by the way, watch for clouds closer to freezing as tailgating starts off in the morning. And as you leave the game, the high of 37 is there. But next week is a larger system. It is kind of a mixture of rain and snow. But right now, we're still way out before we can talk numbers. The next weather team's on it, though, so we'll stay right on top of this system as we get closer to it.